So today we're gonna be replacing the master link and the links from a broken chain on a, uh, this is an eight speed. So we need to knock that pin out and that pin out so we can then put in a master link and put the chain back on the bicycle. So um, first thing we wanna do to get these two pins out is we're gonna use a chain breaker. Um, most bicycle multi-tools have chain breakers on them. They look similar to this. Another tool, this is from Park Tool, um, to knock the pin out. This usually has a tire lever um, that turns this, but we're just gonna use a millimeter socket today. It's much quicker, unless you're out on the road. You wanna fit the chain in the chain breaker and hand tighten it. Make sure you're on the center. There'll be a little divot in the chain pin and you wanna get that centered in there and make sure you're seated right because you can break that chain breaker pin. Once you got some tension on it, check to make sure it's aligned right. And we'll just start slowly putting tension on it. If you feel it bind up at all, too much, you could be potentially breaking something. This one's coming out really easy. Do you see it pushing there? And the pin is out. You can just back that out. And you have a fresh link there for your master link that we'll be putting in in a minute. Um, we need to take this pin out. Shouldn't take much. Let's see, it's wanting to come out that way, it looks like. Do the same thing there. Nice and centered. There it goes. And back it out. All right. Other than that, so we've got two spots that the link will go in. We just look over our chain real quick. Sometimes when chains break, they bend and you can't have, they'll be twisted and that'll just, you need a new chain. Um, this one's good. If you want to count it out, um, there should be generally in a, a regular chain, 116. You can check your chain before splitting it. Um, you don't want to vary more than plus or minus the link if you can. Um, you can start running into issues with your rear derailleur mechanism and whatnot. Um, yeah, these master links are great. You need them for um, the range of your chain. Chains range from seven speed or single speed to you know up to 12. Um, so this is an eight speed quick link, master link they call them. Um, and they're pretty simple. We'll, those two pins we knocked out, we'll shove them in, and then they go in that slot, you pull tight, and then now you've got a link. If you ever have to take your chain off, you can then just remove that. Um, so yeah, it'll basically be like that. Put it in before we tighten it. And yep, we've got the right width and spacing. Um, and so now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the bike. We're about to route the chain through the bike. Um, this is a great time if you need to clean your chain to do so. Um, also oiling it. Um, it's a great time to do it while it's off the bike. Um, whatever kind of lubricant you wanna use, some you need to let dry for a few hours. Some the chain needs to be clean before you do it, but 
So we've got ours cleaned and oiled. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start routing it through the bike. Um, here, I find it's easiest to uh, switch to that your largest chain ring on your outer position there. And so you'll be in line with your smallest chain ring on the back. The front's pretty simple. You just need to get around that chain ring and then make sure you're in the gate on your front mech, like so. So we're gonna be routing the chain through the rear mech. Um, we've got it on the front already. They come here and we've got our rear mech just about in the, the furthest position on the smallest chain ring. So we'll go ahead and set it on there. And then it needs to come up and around this back side through the jockey wheels. We're going to weave it through just as it was before. Remember this rear derailleur is to take the slack out of your chain for your shifting. So it's important that you get the routing right or your bike will just not want to shift. Now, pull the two chains together. Now that we make sure we're aligned right, get one of the master links and put it in the hole there on one side. And then do the same on the opposite. So you have two. And they fit together. And then you pull them nice and tight and they'll lock into place. Now they're, it, at this point, this can still come off pretty easy, but once you ride it for the first time, you're gonna put a lot of tension on that chain. It's gonna stretch it tight, and that's gonna stay really secure. Most times you'll need some type of tool or assistance to break it loose if you're on the trail, but sometimes if you're really willing, you can just do it by hand. And um, so that pretty much completes the uh, changing the master link and rerouting the chain on a um, this is a, uh, we got two rings in the front, seven in the back, so, or eight in the back. There you have it. We're shifting and our chain is back on the bike. We're ready to ride. So everyone, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel.